What's up? We're on here. Today on 3D Nerd Stop, we're going to print out the GoPro mount that I use to do my time lapse footage. Alright, guys, here we are. We're in Cura. Now, I've had a quite a few requests about the GoPro mount I use for my time lapse, so I figured I would show everybody what I printed out and what I use. So we can switch over to Thingiverse real quick. And here you go guys. This is the mount that I use. Okay. This is one of the extensions I printed. This is the case I use for my GoPro. Now I do have the LCD screen on the back of mine. If you don't, you might want to find the case that's smaller. Um, this one's fatter so the LCD screen fits on the back of it and then I also printed these I have printed this arm here which is approximately oh, I believe it was 45 millimeters and then there's these arms here which are two of them here which is 120 and a 200 millimeter and I'll explain to y'all later why I have all of these so what we do is we download all these models as usual Okay, now that we've downloaded all the models, um, we can print them up. The first thing I did was I added the camera holder to the build plate. Okay, and then I added the frame. Bring these over here, like so. And then I added the 90 degree straight adapter extension. We'll just drop that in right about there. And these are, I printed these three together to start with. So I did this at my standard settings, which is 0.2 layer thickness, the skin thickness, or sorry, the shell thickness at 1.2, the top and bottom at 1.2, the fill density at 20%, I did the speed at 60, uh, the temperature at 210, and the bed temperature at 50. I did do support material for touching the bed plate because there's a quite a bit of stuff touching. There's a lot, quite a bit of stuff that needs support in here, um, especially on this guy. If you look at him, and we rotate him around a little bit, like so, you can see down here that there's a nice gap down here at the bottom of him. There you go. You can see that gap right here. So that takes a quite a bit of support material. Oops. So, um, so we had the support material on. Uh, everything else was standard. Um, as you can see, this takes about four hours and forty-seven minutes, which is twenty-four point three millimeters or seventy-two grams of material. So that's what I did for that one. And then I also did a print where I brought in oops, let's get in here, need to print. Okay, I also did these two extensions at once. So I printed both of these. So as you can see here, you have the 200 millimeter and then the 120. And I love these two arms. They work fabulously. Um, it took about two hours and 40 minutes to print, approximately 12 and a half meters, which is 37 grams. And I printed it on the same settings that we did on the last model. And then when these were done, I decided I needed a short one. So I printed Nope, not that one. So many models to choose from. I printed this one. And I really like the way this one works too. Now the one problem I had with the 
extension arm that I printed with the mount and the camera frame is that when I tried to put the bolt through it, the, the um, one side where the camera hooks to it was too wide and I couldn't ever get the nut in in order to catch a thread in order to pull the nut into the nut area no matter how much I cleaned it up and it wound up breaking on me once I finally did get it to connect. So that's one of the reasons why I printed this one, because this one is roughly the same size as that other one. So, tell you what, um, we'll switch over to a time lapse right now and I'll show you all of it being printed.
guys. As you can see here, we've got everything printed out now. We got all of our extensions. We have our mounting plate, and then we also have our frame around our camera. Now, of course, as you can see, I use the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, and I do have it with the LCD screen on the back of it. So, this is the camera I use. Now, one of the reasons I like this casing on this one is because it gives me access to my SD card, and it also lets me plug it in so I don't have to run on the battery all the time. So, if I'm doing a 13 to 20 hour print I can put power to it the whole time and just let it do time lapse the whole time so that's one of the reasons why I chose this case um, now of course you have this this piece came out real nice it printed out with a couple little flaws on top and that's more my fault I had some been playing around with some settings and that's just the way it printed out um, I'm still working on getting See if you can see that here. Still working on getting the uh, support material when it prints that first layer to come out nice and smooth. It's a little stringy, but I'm still playing around with that on the settings and trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing wrong. And hopefully, eventually, I'll figure it out. But for what this is used for, it it works great just the way it is. Now, basically, all you have to do to install this is you just lift up the corner of your build plate lift up one side and it just goes right here in the center it just hooks over it and you just put your build plate back down and there you go you have it that attaches it there now I do have a nut and bolt here and depending on the size print I'm doing if I'm doing a really short one I'll just hook the camera straight to it and if I'm doing one that's you know really tall I'm going to use a lot of material you know I'll go I'll put the long arm here on it and go up and if I really need to I can put more than one arm together and even get it taller so yeah, I'm even out of the picture frame here huh let me show you all sorry there you go see that's putting the long arm on now I'm really tall but you gotta be careful when you have this one go in as you can see it gets really close to the edge of the case so you want to be really careful about that um, to make sure that when you set it up you don't tip it in too far Otherwise, it gets in the way of everything. You have to make sure on the long when you leave it out enough, but still get a good enough view of the print you're trying to get. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you all a quick update on my move and how it's going. Um, as you can see here, I'm having a pod delivered to my house. I thought you all might enjoy seeing this. It's a rather interesting process to get a pod delivered. Um, so I got the pod delivered on Friday. I put packed it up about halfway over the weekend. I got another week to pack it up before I got to get it moved out of here so I can get the house cleaned up for closing. But uh, I just thought you all might enjoy seeing this, so enjoy. changes.
All right, guys, here's the inside of it. There we are. That's the inside of the pod, empty, of course. And we'll be filling this up over the next day or two. So, there you go. That's the pod.